Hey, so how's everyone doing? Now, today what I'm going to show you is Brimful of Asha by Corner Shop. Fat Boy Slim also did a version of this, but I am going to stick to the original for the sake of the chords that are used and how to play them. Right, so what we're going to begin with is just running through the three chords we're going to use. We're going to use an A chord, a D chord, and an E chord. Now, when I say E, your mind or brain might instantly think of this one. But to sound more like the song, I'm going to show you the one I'm going to use here. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take your D shape and you're going to slide it up two frets. Okay, towards your other hand. Then you're only going to strum it from the G string down. Okay, the third string down. And that gives us that high sound. Otherwise, it can sound very low and thick, which is something we don't want for this song. Okay, so now that we have our three chords, what we're going to do next is we're going to run through the rhythm. Okay, so if we start with the A chord, you're going to notice on the third hit that there's a lot of X's written. Now, what they are is they're an actual mute. So I'll demonstrate. I go. Okay, that gives it the snap we need for it to sound like the song. Um, how do you do it, you may ask? So what you do is, you're going to begin with your A and you're going to see arrows as well written there. So we're going to go down, up, mute. Now I do two things. I relax the grip, three things if I'm being honest. I relax the grip on my A chord. So the fingers were there, now they just press up slightly. Then I put my pinky across the strings, just resting them, not like pressing down. So instantly... That's what I get. The sound is gone. That on its own would be a brilliant exercise to do if you haven't done muting before. Okay, so you could go. And so on. All right, so that's our A chord. And that whole bar goes as follows. It goes one and mute and three and four and sped up. That is where our E chord comes in. And straight away, we're on a mute. So as you move up your D shape with this new E shape, what's got E chord, what's going to happen is only with your right hand, you're going to go as follows. You're going to get your strum in hand and just come in at the strings from above. So you're moving out and coming in. And then as you land, strum an upstroke. And after you've done that on the E chord, you're going to do the exact same thing again. Do a mute, move in, and then hit an upstroke on your D chord. So it goes. Again, that would be a good idea to separate out on its own if you're not used to it. All right, so we go. And then we finish it off by going three and four and. All right, so that bar in total goes. I'm going to play both bars very slowly. We're going to do one zoomed out and the other zoomed in. So it's going to go as follows. It goes three and four and one and mute and three and four and one and two and three. All right, we'll do it zoomed in. If at any point you might be thinking, that doesn't sound like the song, I'm just gonna speed it up straight away and it'll go. Again. All right, so that is the first line. <clears throat> if you listen far enough into the song, there's actually one other part that only occurs a handful of times. It goes as follows. It goes three, four. Let's talk about that one. So again, when I'm looking at a bar of music, I end up just looking for the simplest things first for me personally. So in my head, I'm like, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. 
that'll take a bit of work but in total it doesn't seem like one big massive amount of work that I've left to do so in this example uh, for a good lot of players the first beat just going down and up on your A that's gonna be pretty straightforward and if you look at the remaining beats then it goes as follows okay so we're gonna go I'm gonna go from the D chord and the A chord goes D sped up it goes and then you're back to the top again the one big piece of advice I'd have with this as well as making sure to do that new E chord is to follow the arrows on the rhythm because if you don't what can happen is you can have the correct chords you can have really fast hands strumming but if you're doing it down in a, in a load of places where it's meant to be an up, you're making life a lot harder for yourself, okay? And people listening if it isn't coming out right. So um, that is the whole piece. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. See you next week.